Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The situation regarding Dillian White is just refusing to go away. The weeks of silence, it's not making things any better for White. In fact, I think it's galvanising uh, different respective fans and their positions on the situation. Hardcore Dillian White fans are adamant, nothing to see here, let's move on. Whereas other fans who are a bit more sceptical of the situation and the silence are wondering, where is the B sample? What is happening? Why haven't we had any information? Why hasn't anything been forthcoming? And if there was nothing to see here, what is the problem? And that is the problem right now. There's a lack of transparency. And what sort of got me thinking about this was a video I did on Dillian White in regards to his appeal uh, to the WBO over Alexander Usyk being denied. And the thing with that situation was, you know, that isn't really related to this whole alleged failed drug test at all. But it ended up dominating and taking over the comments. Sure, at the back end of that video, I spoke for a minute or two, just, you know, some quick thoughts about, you know, there's been weeks of silence, what's happening, uh, where's the B sample, is there a B sample, and uh, obviously the comment section overrun with fans talking about the situation. We're weeks removed from the announcement that there was some sort of incident that White was allegedly, you know, had something in his system. He fronted a hearing ahead of his fight with Revis. Revis never knew of this. White was cleared he went on to win the fight and became the WBC interim champion as well as the WBC mandatory challenger. Subsequently, those two things have been suspended upon the WBC receiving more information, but the WBC has clarified White is available to fight, but those two honours in terms of the mandatory and the interim title, they are currently suspended by them until it receives more information on whatever the situation is. And this is the thing, we don't really know. What we've had is some initial reports which have been um, not necessarily denied because Eddie Hearn has come out, admitted there was some sort of incident. We've heard adverse finding, but we haven't heard what the full facts of the matter is. And that's the problem here. And that's why the comment section, you can sort of see here from that video, which was not even about the Dillian White situation. It's just, you know, overrun with it. I would say 95% of the comments that were made on that video was nothing to do with the actual, you know, heart of that topic of the video. And it just goes to show, you know, these weeks of silence, fans don't like it. Fans have expected more. And I don't think silence is going to, you know, and, and continued silence is going to resolve anything, is going to clear anything up. And I had one person um, effectively say that the A sample was relied on, no B sample, he's been cleared, case closed, and that anything beyond that is just being nosy. Okay. And I understand that Dillian White fans, you know, believe in his, you know, innocence, and there's some hardcore fans that are just, you know, there's nothing to see here. But there is something, there has been something, something happened, otherwise he wouldn't have had to front a hearing. And I think we have to acknowledge there wasn't a hearing held for nothing. And this is why fans want information. It's not, a, it's not a case of fans just being nosy. Fans are fans. I think some of this situation is actually really uh, hurting Dillian White in terms of his reputation. It could it potentially hurt his career sort of in the long term. Silence is not really good for anything. And, you know, and I guess this sort of gets to a part of this whole issue that maybe this was part of the reason the whistleblower leaked this information to BoxingScene.com saying that there was an alleged failed test and that White fronted a hearing. I don't think that the hearing part was in the article, but there was a, an allegation of a failed test. There was something wrong with an A sample and it later came out that it was alleged to be Diana Bowl. And I think fans do have a right to have some information because if they don't get it, the spectre of performance enhancing drugs will hang over white. Whether that's fair or not, it just is what it is. The situation was that the news was leaked or, you know, of an alleged failed test. It's up now up to Dillian White and everyone else involved to actually come out and give a full account of what's gone on because that is actually hurting white right now in the court of public opinion. And you can argue with me all you want if you think it's not hurting him and that there's nothing to see here and he's being ostracized or whatever. But the fact of the matter is that there's a huge amount of um, boxing fans that want to, to know what's going on. 
The real issue here for a lot of fans, including myself, is the transparency, because there really isn't any with the situation. And if this whistleblower hadn't have come out, well, effectively, it could have been all swept under the rug. Nothing to see, nothing to hear. But it, it has come out and people want answers. And I'm sure a number of fans, if they were given the full information about what was going on, would probably, and if it is actually, you know, puts White in a good light in terms of he's able to actually coherently say this is what happened and this, you know, X, Y, and Z, probably a lot of fans would be willing to give him the benefit of the doubt if, in fact, he can actually explain what has gone on, you know, and people, and it's a credible story. For others, you know, obviously because this is a, a second incident, um, you know, the accusation of performance enhancing drugs, there was a failed test years ago. Some fans will just think that whatever's happened, Dillian White was guilty. And it, it's almost not about the innocent or guilt at this point, because as we've been told, nothing to see here, nothing to do. But it's more about the transparency and knowing what's what here. Because for me as a boxing fan, you know, I've, I've bought a lot of Dillian White pay-per-views since he started becoming a pay-per-view fighter. There's obviously the more recent ones with Joseph Parker. You also had the Derek Chisora one. You also had Oscar Rivas. You know, for a lot of fans, if they're looking to spend their money, but they don't, you know, think that Dillian White is an honest and clean fighter, that could, you know, impact uh, the actual sales of events and that sort of thing. And this would be an issue, I think, that maybe White is grappling with here with his, his people, potentially lawyers, because obviously this being out there really has hurt brand Dillian White. And maybe this is why some of the, the silence is underway, because there could be uh, potential ramifications for people involved in this in terms of the whistleblower. They're probably trying to hunt that person down. You can better believe that, because if this hadn't have come out, we would have been none the wiser. But it has. So, you know, sunlight, in my view is the best disinfectant and fans i rightly believe do because this is out there have a right to know what's going on the fact that it is out there means that you know obviously there's a lot of unresolved and unanswered questions and some people will make a case that we don't you know we shouldn't be privy to any of this but the fact that we already are in terms of the allegations and what's going on if we don't get that you know, the silence could really be a killer for Dillian White in terms of his fans. I mean, I think we've already seen, you, you can see from, you know, comments and people are sort of being, you know, a lot of fans have been sort of souring on White as of, because of this whole situation. And then you toss in the whole thing with the, the Oscar Rivas glove situation. The fact that Rivas also wasn't told about this um, secret hearing where Dillian White was cleared at. You know, this, it doesn't look good in terms of the image front for White. And that could have a knock-on effect if fans are lukewarm on him. And if they are to announce another fight and there is no resolution, well, maybe there would be a drop-off in interest and potential ticket sales and pay-per-view buyers and whatnot. But I just wanted to, to raise this because clearly there's still a lot of interest here. It's not going away. If anything, it's galvanized people's position, the silence of this whole matter. And if we don't get anything that's fulsome in terms of a complete explanation, and I, I think that this will continue to linger and it will be like a weeping sore that will continue to aggravate with fans and also just, you know, tick away at Dillian White. Eventually, he's going to have to come out and say something about this. Eventually, if he wants to fight again in 2019, they can't just sweep it under the rug because I don't think fans are past it. Drop a comment loud and often, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared, I'm out.